Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and I just finished watching the uh, season premiere of uh, Total Drama called Total Drama All-Stars Episode 1, Heroes vs. Villains. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm sure some of you know this, but some of you might not, I'm a pretty big fan of the Total Drama show. I love Total Drama Island. Total Drama Action was good, wasn't my favorite, but I liked it. Total Drama World Tour, though, is probably my favorite, because you have, like, the whole Sierra Cody storyline, you had Gwen cheating, it was, like, the best season ever. Then last year, with Total Drama Event of the Island, they kind of made a mistake by casting new people, and they weren't as interesting as the other contestants, and I didn't enjoy it as much last year. I did like a lot of them, like, I liked Mike and Zoe, I liked I, everyone they brought back for this season, though, I really, really did like. So... Then I realized, though, that the whole point of last year was to get these people ready for All-Stars. And, um, once I heard the concept, I'm like, that sounds awesome. It, it really sounded awesome, and it really sounded like something I'd really, really like. So, yeah. So, basically, this episode, uh, was fantastic. I thought Total Drama All-Stars... Definitely, when they went back to their roots, they definitely realized the mistake they made last year. Um, they are fixing it, and as a result, I really, really enjoyed this premiere. So, the premiere started out with uh, Chris being locked up in jail, because past season he was arrested, remember, for being in a radioactive location. And um, it's been basically one year, and Shrek comes in basically saying his time is done, and that his contract basically states that he has to do another show. So, he's very happy about this, and then we get to, uh, Total Drama All-Stars. Now, uh, he basically says that, like, this season is gonna be, like, a combination of all the different, um, challenges from, uh, last season. So, you got that going on. And basically, the people that arrive, first you have the, uh, people from last season. You have Cameron, uh, Joe, Lightning, um, Mike, Sam, Scott, and Zoe. So those are people that returned from Total Drama All-Stars. And the old people that returned were Courtney, Duncan, Gwen, Heather, um, Lin and, uh, Lindsay, and Sierra. So those are the people that returned, um, for that part. And, um, there's quite a lot going on with them. And I, I really enjoyed that. Um... First of all, let's talk about the thing that I really like. Uh, first of all, he divides the teams into the Heroic Hamsters, which is... The Heroic Hamsters are... Courtney, um... Mike, Sam... Uh, Mike, Sam, Sierra, Mike, uh, uh, Sierra and Zoe. That's the Heroic Hamsters. Um... And then you have the villainous vultures, uh, which are, um, oh, Cameron was there too in the, uh, villainous vultures, in uh, the heroic hamsters, but then you have the villainous vultures, uh, Duncan, Gwen, Heather, Joe, Lightning, and that's it. But that's basically who, oh, and Scott, and that's what you have for the, um, the villainous vultures. And, um, um, the thing that I really enjoyed, though, was on that Gwen was kind of worried. First we see that Gwen and Duncan are dating, which is actually a very cool because I really like the whole storyline we got. And what's really cool is the whole show's made up and it's a cartoon, but I really feel for these characters. Even though it's a cartoon, I, I really feel for them. They, they really do a good job of making us feel for these characters and caring about them, even though it's just a cartoon. It's, in my opinion, one of the best cartoons on TV right now because it doesn't even feel like I'm watching a cartoon. It feels like I'm watching a regular reality TV show, and I feel bad for these people. So, first I want to talk about Courtney, Duncan, and Gwen. Courtney still has not forgiven Gwen for the whole thing with kissing Duncan, but Gwen's kind of saying, you know what, I, 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 Courtney and Duncan were not dating at the time. It was true. They were not dating at the time. They broke up in season two, and um, they were not dating at the time. So, yeah, so they were not dating at the time, and Courtney can't keep saying that she cheated on her because that Gwen, that Duncan cheated on Gwen because 
uh, they were not dating at the time, and that's that's absolutely true. That's not what happened at all. You know, they weren't dating at the time, so I like that part. I did like, though, that uh, Gwen eventually did apologize to Courtney, and Courtney still seems like she's not happy about this, but I mean, Courtney's Courtney. You know, Courtney's not going to be someone who is very, you know, forgiving type of person. She's a very scheming type of person, and I don't know why she was placed in the heroes, because... In my opinion, Gwen is the real hero and Courtney's the villain. Uh, I, I, Gwen's my favorite character, so I mean, I'm going to be um, favoritism, you know, of her. But I really love, I've always loved Gwen and um, Courtney for me, I've always liked her too. I like everyone who they brought back this season. I think they brought back the right people, so I was happy about that. So yeah, I really like that storyline. Uh, the other storyline we got going on is Heather, of course, is very... Um, you know, people are telling her, you know, oh, what's it happen between you and Alejandro and all this stuff. And we basically see that there's this drama machine who goes right to Heather and is definitely um, resembling uh, Heather, you know, really likes her. And Heather can tell right away it's Alejandro and the robot falls into the water. Um, when the robot, like, they did this challenge with, you know, falling into the water and stuff like that. And then... Um, it turns out to be Alejandro, and I thought that was great that that happened. Oh, also, um, wh whoever wins this year, they get to go into this, like, wh whichever team wins, they get into this mansion thing, and then the other one has to sleep in the little bitty cabin, so I like that too. I think that's really cool, and that's definitely going to be something cool to see. But it turns out to be Alejandro, and Heather, of course, isn't upset about, is very upset about this, um... Now, as far as the voice change for Alejandro, I don't even notice it. They did a perfect job with that. I don't even notice it. It sounds just like the original guy who voiced Alejandro. I, I don't even notice it. I can see why they did it because, I mean, he wasn't ever watching. He didn't talk for one year straight. So, obviously, he's going to sound a little different, but it's not like he sounds completely different or anything. So, I'm very, very impressed by uh, that. The, the guy they casted was very, very good. Definitely resembled Alejandro um, really, really well. I just... I didn't really see a big difference. Yeah. Um, as far as Duncan and Gwen go, there is one other thing that's going on. Uh, Duncan and Gwen are kind of losing interest in each other. Uh, we see that Duncan keeps getting annoyed by Gwen's constant complaining. So that's what's going on, basically. Um, let's see what else. Sierra is still very much attached to Cody. I think that's great um, that that happened. And, um, yeah, so Sierra is still very attached to Cody. You know, that's something that will never go away. She's calling Cody on the phone. She's saying, for you know, I'm doing this for Cody and all this stuff. And I don't really know if they're dating at this point. Like, it seemed like at the end of Told Her on the World Tour, Cody was willing to try it out, see if he liked her because uh, he was willing, you know, because he was starting to like her. So maybe they are, but I'm not entirely sure. All we know is that Sierra is always going to be obsessed with Cody, and that's one of the reasons that I love Sierra and told on the world tour. I thought she was just great. I thought the girl who voices her is really great, and some people say she's annoying. I didn't find her annoying. Now, as far as um, it goes with the winner, the winner was the villainous vultures. They were able to find the key to the mansion, and they got into the mansion. And, um, the heroic hamsters, it was between Courtney and, uh, Lindsay, and I love the part where Chris was like, Courtney, you're here, you're, you're on the chopping block because you let Lindsay drive. And that's true, you can't let Lindsay drive, Lindsay's stupid. And in the end, Lindsay is the one that left, and there's this giant toilet now called the Flesh of Shame, and Lindsay ended up leaving. So, yeah, that's basically it for the premiere. I really enjoyed this premiere, I thought it was really good, I liked everyone that came back, um, I don't love, like, all the cast members. I especially love that we got the original cast members back. Um, and then Mike and Zoe, I love them, too. And I really like um, uh, Cameron. I like Cameron. He, I think it was either him or Lightning, though, and I don't know exactly who won in the American version. I know the Teletoon version is different from the American. I've watched the American, but the Teletoon version, someone else wins. Also, we get it first before the uh, Teletoon, so that's something that hasn't happened before, so I'm really happy about that, too. So that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys saw the premiere. Um, what do you think of Alejandro? Do you think Heather and Alejandro are going to try to start a relationship? Do you think um, 
Uh, Sierra's really dating Cody, or is she just that obsessed with him? Uh, Duncan and Gwen, what do you think about them? Do you think they'll work as a couple, or do you think that, you know, Duncan just losing interest in her and he'll go back to Courtney? What do you guys think? Uh, do you think Courtney is going to forgive Gwen eventually? I do think that Courtney and Gwen are going to be friends again. I really like that they were friends in, uh, Pole Drama World 4, and then Courtney, like, freaked out about everything. Uh, what do you think of the new cast members coming back? Do you think they're missing someone? I think they're missing Izzy. You really can't have total drama without Izzy. She's really just wackadoodle and she's crazy. But Sierra is a definitely a good replacement for her because I like Sierra more than Izzy. Um, who was your favorite that came back? Uh, is your favorite back? Uh, what about Owen? I'm sure a lot of people are going to say they want Owen back. But that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.